Hello, and welcome back to Righteous Talk Ministry here with Pastor Martin and Prophet Taisha Martin. We welcome you back, and we thank you for tuning in. Happy New Year's to you, and we pray that you are having a safe New Year, and we're just so thankful that God gave us a complete year, and uh, we are just so thankful for a new beginning in 2016. We thank God for bringing us through 2015. Uh, we thank God for all the rams in the bushes. We thank God for all the blessings, all the protection, all the all the the things that God has done for us in the year of 2015. He has brought us through some mountains. He has brought us over some mountains. He has moved ob obstacles out the way. He has done so much good for us. Amen. Amen. God is good all the time. Hallelujah. He is worthy to be praised. Glory to God. So we thank God for the year that just passed. And we thank God for the new year that had just come in. And we pray blessings and peace and love and joy and kindness and meekness and Godspeed to all in Jesus' holy name. Hallelujah. This year, let's upgrade. Let's upgrade on our meekness. Let's upgrade on our kindness. Let's live life. Hallelujah. To the fullest in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to his holy name. For God's name's sake. Hallelujah. Let's let's walk in righteousness let's please the lord to the fullest hallelujah amen. amen let's live life hallelujah glory to god god has blessed us with life god said through all things beloved i desire that you prosper being good health even as your soul prospers so let's let's just indulge in that let's let's dip in that you know uh during the year of 2015 my husband had taught a sermon um at the church, um, one of the local churches, uh, you got to dip, you know. Uh, what, what was your sermon? Dip out of iniquity. Yes, yes, yes. Let's dip. And dip into righteousness. And dip into righteousness. Hallelujah, glory to God. So uh, that sermon was pretty hot. Hallelujah, glory to God. And um, so let's just, you know, uh, be thankful for all the things that God has done. Thankful for the things that he is doing and things that he is yet to do. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Pastor, we're going to start out with prayer. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come humbling to your holy throne, Lord God, giving you thanks for all things that you have done, doing, and yet to do, Lord, in our lives. Father God, we pray through all things that you keep your, your will in our lives, Lord God, your ways and your, and your statutes and your laws, Father God. Have us to walk in your will, Father, in the name of Jesus, for we know that you have a purpose for our lives, Father God. So, Heavenly Father, we pray that you bless and guard the, the, the purpose that you have for our lives, Father God, for your glory and for your purpose and for your will. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray that you keep us in the hollow of your holy hands and protect us from evil and give us power over all the power of the enemy in Jesus' holy name. Heavenly Father, let this be a year of rejoicement in Jesus' name. Let us reap the harvest, Father God, that you have spoke of, that, that, you, have, that you have promised of in Jesus' holy name. Heavenly Father, uh, write down your blessings from heaven on us, Father God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And we shall constantly pray, shall constantly be in our mouths in the name of Jesus for you, Father God. We shall, we shall constantly praise you, Father. Heavenly Father, we pray that you keep us all in good health and peace, but love, joy, and a sound mind and power in the name of Jesus, Lord. For Heavenly Father, we pray that you direct our paths and keep us, Lord, and all things of our heart's desires, Heavenly Father. Manifest them in our lives in Jesus' name, Father. In Jesus' holy name, bless your body of Christ, Father. In the name of Jesus, and strengthen those in the body of Christ. In Jesus' holy name, Father God. For we thank you for the holy blood that you have shed on Calvary for us, forgiving us of our sins and taking all of our sins upon yourself, Father God, to give us salvation through Abba, Father, our Lord and Savior, Father God. We thank you, Heavenly Father Jesus, for you are our King of glory. You are our King of kings and our Lord of lords. And we thank you for this broadcasting, Lord God. Father God, we thank you for the anniversary that's coming up with this broadcasting soon, Father God. And Lord God, we just pray for your will. We pray peace and shalom unto us all in this new year. In Jesus' name, we pray for your, your will and your righteousness. In Jesus' holy name we pray and give thanks. Amen. Amen. Well, we're going to teach on excelling into a new beginning. Excelling. And two, a new beginning. And we're going to start our first uh, Chronicles 22 and 12. First Chronicles 22 and 12. Amen. Only 
May the Lord give you wisdom and understanding and give you charge that you may keep the law of the Lord your God. Mm -hmm. Psalms 19 and 34. Give me understanding and I shall keep your law. Indeed, I shall observe it with my whole heart. Mm -hmm. So shall I keep your law continually forever and ever. Mm -hmm. So this is what you call excelling to a, a new beginning. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, old things pass away, what? All things become what? New. Become new. Mm -hmm. So if we we need to step up, you know, mm -hmm. and excel to a new beginning, you know, with the things we do for God. Amen. Because we got to understand that the Bible says, seek the Lord while he's what? He is near. And so call he upon him while you what? While you can be found. Amen. So the truth is, we need to excel to what? A new beginning. Mm -hmm. See, when we talk about old things pass away, we begin to come to what? Old habits that you used to have, they should what? Pass away. Mm -hmm. And you should what? excel into what? A new beginning. Amen. The old thoughts and the old ways that you used to do, you should what? Toss them away. Throw them into the sea of forgetfulness. We remember them more and excel in what? To a new beginning. Amen. See, last year, you know, things, you know, doesn't seem to go well. But, you know, we need to pray that God will what? Excel those prayers. Mm -hmm. Excel them blessings. Mm -hmm. Excel that favor for what? Mm -hmm. A new beginning. Mm -hmm. So, we got to have the thought process. We got to have the mind process of what? Having a what? A new beginning in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. See, we got to think about, you know, how we want to change. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the habits that we used to have, we need to what? Throw them away if they're not, a, a, not like Christ. Mm -hmm. You know, and if we wasn't praying enough in 2015, we need to what? Pray better and excel to what? Amen. A new beginning. Amen. You know, we need to excel to a new beginning of what? All things concerning what? Jesus Christ. Why? Amen. Because you know what? You don't want, you know, old things. You want what? New things. You don't want the fresh oil. I mean, the old oil. You want the what? The fresh oil. Fresh oil. You know, you don't want the fresh old blessings. Anointing. You want the, the fresh blessings. Amen. Amen. So we need to what? Excel ourselves in what? A new beginning. Amen. You know, if something, a method back then in 2015 wasn't working, you need to what? Use a new method. Because this is what? Excelling into what? A, a new higher beginning. horizon. Exactly. Going to higher heights. Exactly. In Hallelujah. Glory to God. Exactly. So we need to what? Excel in a new beginning. And just like what it says, you know, only may the Lord give you wisdom and understanding mm -hmm. and give you charge concerning Israel that you may keep the law of the Lord, your God. So keep God's statutes, keep his laws in order, the Ten Commandments, his laws and his orders, do's and the don'ts in, in his uh, statutes. You know, we need to make a change as God, God's people. We need to um, stay connected with God in a righteous way. We need to uh, fast and pray and pray as well as watch. We need to stand fast in prayer, holding nothing back with all supplications uh, to the Lord. Amen? Amen. We need to, uh, like Pastor said, you know, let's accelerate ourselves and be excellent and, mm -hmm. and be pure at heart and and just strengthen ourselves in the body of Christ. God said we got power over all things. And we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Who strengthens us. Amen. Amen. Set yourself a new standard for God. Mm -hmm. You know, don't make no new, new year's resolution. There is no such thing as a new year's resolution. Because, you know, sometimes when people make a new year's resolution, they say, well, I'm, I'm going to smoke. You know, less cigarettes this year than I did last year. Then guess what? They end up smoking more cigarettes, you know, in the new year than they did the last year. Well, then it's they, not they good have to, to trust in God. Exactly. It's not know? good to make New Year's resolutions. No, it's just good to excel yourself yeah. in the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, look at yourself. Examine yourself. Whatever you don't have right, ask the Lord to what? Give you wisdom. Like to I read help on. you make it right. Exactly. Now, New Year re revolutions are just... They're man-made, mm -hmm. you know, but when you go before the Lord and ask God, Lord, help me with this struggle. Lord, strengthen mm -hmm. me in this area. God, cleanse me. Create a new in me 
in Jesus' name. Create a new good thing in me. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. That I may please you. That I may be upright with you. That I may be pleasing to your sight. Hallelujah. That you accept what I give to you, my Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So let's, you know, get in gear and let's get it together and, you know, um, accelerate ourselves in the Lord and rejoice ourselves in the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we just thank God so much, you know, uh, for keeping us through 2015. And now we're in 2016 and we pray the blessings of the Lord and we pray strength. We pray, we pray, you know, that we are enhanced. Hallelujah. Pray. I pray in Jesus' holy name that our gifts and our talents are, are strengthened, are, are empowered, that they are, you know, uh, enhanced in Jesus' holy name, you know, because God gives us talents, gifts, and skills, and he said that I will give you, make your, your talents and your gifts uh, and put you among great men, amen? Amen. Make room enough for you to put you among great men. So we ha if, if you want to succeed, you have to proceed. You have to be in position for God to do the transition. Amen? Amen. To do the transaction. And every transaction is an action. Amen? And then every transaction is a reaction. Amen? Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we need to come into 2016 powerful. We need to be more powerful than ever. And how do we do that, beloved? By celebrating yourself. In the Lord. With a new beginning. With a new beginning. Come to God fresh and, and pray, God, cleanse me in the name of Jesus. By the holy blood of the holy Jesus, the holy lamb, cleanse me in the holy blood of the lamb. Amen. And create a new good in me. Create a new heart in me. Create a new mind in me. Hallelujah. That I, be, that I please you. Hallelujah. And the purpose and the will that you have for my life, for your name's sake, that I shall accomplish in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. For the kingdom of God is at hand. So repent. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And get right with the Lord. And come into 2016 more powerful than ever. Hallelujah. Amen. Even the ones that are born again. If you're a born again believer, you need to accelerate in your prayers. If you're a born again believer, mm -hmm. you need to accelerate in reading your Bible. If you're a born again believer, you need to accelerate yourself mm -hmm. and showing love and demonstrating the love of Christ and acting, you know, like, you know, you're a born again Christian by not going to places that where the unrighteous are well. Amen. By not, you know, getting advice from ungodly counsel. You Amen. Know? We need to, you know, stay with the word of God. It says, blessed is the man that, you know, take of not counsel from what? The ungodly. Mm -hmm. And, or take advice from what? An unrighteous person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you know what? You can go to your heavenly father. Mm -hmm. And your heavenly father, what? Will give you all that you need. Mm -hmm. If you accelerate yourself. I mean, Amen. look at ourselves in the mirror. Look at yourself in the mirror. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See what you can do better. Amen. You know, see how you can improve. Amen. Because a lot of times, you know, a person think they got it all together, but you know the truth is you matter. They ain't got it what? They ain't got it together. Amen. Amen. And because they ain't got it together, we got to ask the Lord to what? Accelerate you. Amen. You know what I mean? Amen. Turbo. Go into turbo charge. Ask the Lord to turbo charge. Go into turbo gear. <laughs> come, Amen. come to Hallelujah. me, Lord, speedily and help me. That's right. You know, Amen. there's a scripture. It says, "Search me, O God, and know my heart. See if there be a wicked way in me. Amen. Try me and know my thoughts. Amen. Amen. And, and then there's another scripture that says, "Wash me thoroughly of my nickel. Cleanse me from my sin. And make me whiter than snow. Praise so that's, the Lord. That's, Hallelujah. Glory that's our God. message for today. That's right. You know, Happy New Year to all. Accelerate. And yourself. if you want that Holy Ghost power, no. get that Holy Ghost power. Come into 2016 with power. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You cannot have that power if you don't live right by God. Hallelujah. So get it right with God. We thank you for tuning in, beloved. The Happy New Year's to you. Have a safe one. Stay away from the alcohol and the and the and all the bad things of the world. But stay in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You cannot please God with doing the things serving the world. God said you can't do that. So be of God's speed in Jesus' name. Amen. Until then, tune in next time with Righteous Talk.